Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Samax Code. And in this video guys, we're going to continue working on with our calculator application. So as you can see, we have already laid out the layout for our um, calculator. So basically from the previous video, we have added different elements, different layouts. And yes, we also added buttons for our numbers and also for our operators. So for now, let's go back to our NetBeans ID and our NetBeans ID, and let's try to continue working with our JavaFX calculator application. So basically, what we have here is we created different files. Say for example, the main that FXML file, which is uh, contains all the layout, all the buttons, all the all the necessary UI for our application. Okay. So as you can see, we already added this. And of course, we also have the main class, main.java, and this is the entry point of our JavaFX application. Okay, and it is loading the main.fxml to be added into our scene and then add the scene to our stage, our primary stage. And of course, we also have this main controller. Okay, so in our main controller, we have uh, the handle button action and of course the initialize method now let's create a new file and this will be for our model so model and basically this will just a um, it will contain a single method for our calculation so for now let's just create a new method for this application or for this class model so this will be public float and the name of our method will be calculate okay and then it's gonna take like three parameters and it's gonna be long or the data type is long and long number one and then long number two and of course the string operator okay so um Again, this is the calculate method and it's going to take like three parameters, the number one or the first number, the second number, and of course the operator that we need. So for example, the addition, the subtraction, multiplication, or division. So now in here, inside this particular method, we're going to add a switch statement. So switch, and then we're going to switch the operator variable. We're going to use the operator variable in our switch statement. And of course, uh, in here, say for example, case or the first case is last symbol. And then, of course, this particular case, uh, it will turn the total of both numbers or the first number and, of course, the second number. Okay, so number one and then number two and close this particular case and of course we're going to do the same with the other operation or other operators so I'm just gonna align this to make it readable so instead of last symbol it should you know the dash that uh, that is for our um, subtraction okay and then we're gonna do the same with the other two for our multiplication and of course the division and this one should also be changed into dash for our subtraction and this one is multiplication is asterisk right and the last one will be case division or divide the symbol is uh, for red slash and then uh, before returning the, the value because there are cases that so for example the user tried to uh, divide a, a certain number with a value zero which is not allowed in mathematics so basically we want we want to check if the number two is equal to zero so if number two or the second number is equal to zero then return zero okay and of course otherwise just divide the first number by the second number now if there's no 
Um, uh, if, if it is not the addition, so, um, the subtraction, multiplication, and division, so the default will be to return 0. So default is to return 0. Okay? So basically, this is the model for our um, calculator. So basically, it contains a single method to calculate our own numbers the first is the second number now let's go back to our main controller that java to be or to add the actual method for our um, buttons in our layout so first let's go back to scene builder and then let's try to click on the buttons that contain number so seven eight nine four five six 3, 2, 1, and of course 0. So for now, do not don't select or do, do not include in the selection these operators because our concern first is these numbers. Okay? So let's go to code and then in the on action option so basically we will do here is process process number or process number something like that. So enter and we already set the method for our buttons or the uh, buttons with numbers okay and then we're going to do the same with our operators so click select select the five buttons the division multiplication subtraction addition and of course the equal symbol so this will be um, process um, operators and press enter okay so basically we set the method for our um, buttons our operator buttons and of, of course the buttons for our numbers okay and basically we already added the controller or this uh, this particular um, main fxml file has the controller which is the main controller that java that we have created or auto generated for us by the netbeans ide so now let's just save this fxml file and then let's go back to our IDE NetBeans and then right click or main that fxml file and then right click make controller okay so it's going to generate the two methods that we have specified in our main that fxml file which is uh, the process numbers and of course the process operators so of course we're going to delete this because we don't need that right now and the label is for our result you remember that uh, we have this particular label to display our uh, result right so in this particular main controller that java we're going to add few variables so again we also uh, we already have the label for our result and then we're going to declare the first number so private long and then number um, one equals number one equals the zero and then we also have the private string operator and this is basically the variable that that will hold our operator string okay and then of course the flag if uh, this will hold the uh, value if the this will hold the value that um, signifies if we have like selected the first or the second number okay so for now let's just set it to true and then inside our process numbers method we're going to um, check if start so if start is equals to true then we say result or label that set text and then of course we're going to set it to empty okay and then start equals to false so basically we're just telling that do not display if it is only the first number and not yet the second number okay and 
in here we will say string value equals uh, event that get source okay and then we will try to type cast this into a button okay and enclose this with um, open and close parenthesis and then the method get text okay and then of course you have to import the button so you have to make sure to add this particular import statement here seeing that control that button so okay and then next we're going to set the display by saying label that set text and then result that or label that get text plus the value of the button so for example yeah seven eight or something like that and the next step is to process or i mean to modify our process operators okay and then we're just going to do the same get the value or the string value of our button operators okay and then next is to check if the user press the operators so the first one is if value that equals um equals to equal symbol okay so basically it, this this particular statement uh we're just checking if the value equals to uh this particular equal sign symbol but let's just negate this okay we're just checking the negative uh, of this particular statement right here, okay? So, next is we're going to check if the operator is empty and then um, return, okay? So, say for example, the user already pressed the equal symbol but the operator is still empty, so we return nothing okay and we don't uh, process the calculation of our calculator so next is to say operator equals value operator equals value and then number one equals long that parse long because we're going uh, we're going to parse the the uh, output or the display in our label so get text so basically this is a string and then we're just parsing a long value from that particular text so number one equals long that parse long and then label that get text and then of course the result equals um yeah not result label that set text and then it should be empty okay else if we're going to check also here if the operator is empty remove this symbol so we're basically we're just checking if the operator is empty and then return nothing and otherwise long number two equals um, the same thing long and then parse long the result that not result again this is label that get text there you go okay and the next of course is to process the calculation for our calculator so basically we're just going to say here after this particular line we're going to say float output equals model and then calculate so we're going to create this model object right now so calculate and then specify the three parameter number one number two and of course the operator Okay, so we're going to display the result by using the label that set text 
equal to string that value of the output okay and of course as i've said we're going to create the object of our model so as you can see we have created this particular class model so all we have to do now is create a model object so model and of course the name of our object which is model equals new model okay and then save and i think that's it guys we're, uh, we will try to run our program for now so right click first and then clean and build just to make sure that the changes will be reflected now that we're finished building our fx calculator so let's try to run this by right clicking it here and then run and hopefully it will be successful so click on any number and we're getting an invocation target exception and null pointer exception on line 38 of this particular main controller so basically we have the label and uh, added the label here but i think we don't have it on our fxml file so in here we have here the label already supposed to be the label for our result okay so let's just add the id now as the label okay so file and then save go back to our netbeans ide and let's try to run uh, let's try to run this click on any number so there you go we can see the um, number so for example one two three plus um 255 and then equals and the result will be something like this 378.0 okay so i think that's it guys for this tutorial and if you have questions please let me know in the comment section below we'll try to answer your questions